So I see your comments gamers and there is some good news for Call of Duty Warzone Mobile and it's time to address them. I'm seeing a lot of you guys that can't play the game right now and it doesn't run as well on Android than it does on iOS. Well, Activision are giving us some amazing comms and they have addressed the community with this post. They said thank you to everyone who's jumped in and played Call of Duty Warzone Mobile already. We couldn't be more thrilled to get it into your hands but our work isn't over yet. In fact, it's just beginning. We're already working hard towards bringing you the best experience possible by identifying and rolling out fixes. From this list, there are two important fixes that are ongoing, which are number one, they are investigating and fixing device specific stability and performance issues. This basically means the fix for you guys who are struggling to run the game well and a fix for overheating and FPS drops. And number two, it was possible to download the game on unsupported devices resulting in an unsupported GPU error. Now this means for you guys that have that error, you shouldn't have been able to download the game in the first place because your device is not supported. But they are rolling out updates for more devices to be able to play the game. And also, they tweeted again last night, especially for Android players, and said this. Update for Android players. The team has been hard at work and is near deployment of an update addressing a number of things to improve performance further. But basically, they've said that they have fixed and resolved the issues preventing certain devices from accessing full fidelity graphics, which means the locked graphics options in settings. They have fixed and sped up the time it takes to stream assets to certain devices so they will look better and load faster. Basically, Warzone Mobile has a feature where the more games you play, the better graphics and optimizations it gets. Another one, they have fixed and addressed various graphical corruptions and crashes identified by the community, which basically means the random crashes that you get and the lag spikes that you get and frame drops when you play the game. And they have prevented unsupported devices from downloading the game to avoid any confusion. Basically, players that were able to download the game on an unsupported Android device would get this error message saying unsupported GPU, meaning they couldn't play. Now again, the team are working hard to release the game to more devices to enable more players to enjoy Warzone Mobile. And that's not just for Android, that's for iOS too, but a lot of the community are Android players. This update should be dropping very soon, but also on top of that, the director Chris Plummer mentioned this. It's been great to watch everybody playing the game. Uh, the team across all the studios is you know, busy at work, um, you know, monitoring how people are playing, checking out the community feedback. There's been a ton of feedback and actually a lot of stuff that we can work with, which is like really, really awesome. So that's good. Again, they're listening to our feedback. That is exactly what we want from a developer team on a mobile game. So the team's been super busy um, doing things like, you know, monitoring and also like putting together a hot fix. Our first one that we hope to get live sometime later today. Some of that includes there were some graphics and performance things that came up on some certain Android devices. Um, so a lot of that is what this particular update is about, but there's some, there's some other things in there too. We saw some issues that were preventing certain devices from getting full fidelity graphics uh so that will definitely help uh in those cases um all right so it sounds like the fix this post actually posted yesterday so it sounds like the fix probably came later last night or later today we've uh, we've also been able to speed up the time that it takes to stream assets on certain devices so you know it can start out sort of a low fidelity and start streaming in as you play um some devices that was taking longer than we expected so uh put in some fixes for that also there were some graphical corruptions and even crashes that we saw uh reported and we were able to to address some of those you know there's even an issue where there was a large number of unsupported devices that actually did have access to the game and could download it uh so some folks were getting this unsupported GPU error. That's what that was about. So we fixed that. So if you can download the game, it, you'll you'll actually be able to run it, which is the intention, of course. The lobbies are hot. <laughs> I mean, if you, you've seen over the streamathon, uh, there's some pretty skilled players in there, and it's it's a totally different ball game than you know playing with bots. And we've been talking about that. I think the players are are seeing it and feeling it as well. We're we're seeing how it plays out with certain uh, lobby mixes, like for example, letting um, Bluetooth controllers and touchscreen players like play together and just see see how it plays out. So it turns out, you know, looking at the data, there's only a very small number of people who are actually playing on controllers. So 95% of the matches that have played since we launched are touchscreen only lobbies with oh, only touchscreen players. So if you're in a match and you think you got smoked by a Bluetooth controller, it is possible. So he's saying that 95% of players are actually on touchscreen. So there's only 5% of players that are actually using controllers right now. That's interesting. 
but 95% of the time it, it wasn't. But that's something we want to keep an eye on, right? We want to make sure it's fun for everyone. And uh, the team has been looking at tuning around that to make sure that um, the lobbies are, uh, you know, fun for everyone. You know, keep playing. That's good. Everyone out there is, who, who, who's playing, you know, keep giving us the feedback in the comments. If exactly. If you blast with this game, then, you know, get on our official socials on, uh, on our official X uh, Discord and Reddit channels and let us know. Let the team know that you're enjoying the game. So you heard it there, guys. Chris Plummer himself has mentioned that they are fully trying to fix the game to make it a better experience for all of you and the best thing we can do is stay positive and give as much feedback as possible so i'm going to ask you on this video guys drop a like subscribe and drop a comment down below with all of your feedback you have of your device what kind of problems you're having and i will send it straight to the developers myself to try and improve and speed up the process so again let's try and stay positive because i'm playing it on the latest ipad and what i'm playing right now feels really good so i want you guys to experience that as well so check this out <laughs> He's dead, bro. Oh, shit. Bro, I can't get up. No, I'm dead. You just got me killed, bro. Movement. Movement. It's fine. We are absolutely under full control here. Oh, my God. Where is that? Oh, it's not dim. Down him. Nice. <laughs> bro, it's the same as PC, bro. They can't mess with us with the snipes, baby. Bro, you almost got me freaking killed, bro. Bro, he popped my tire. I was like doing some Tokyo drift shit. So I was dumb as two mates, bro. Oh, fuck. Get in the building, bro. Get in the building. You know what mortars are like, bro? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. They hit me, bro. I just got grenaded. I've got zero plates. This isn't looking good, bruv. He's just floating with us. He is on top of the hill. Got one. Above me, above me, above me. Smash, smash. Oh, I didn't break. I got no ammo. Wait, what? I got him. The same, bro. Super annoying. Really? Yo, chat. Was that the most unfortunate timing or what? You know what? I'm going to knife kill this dude just for the shits. Does your iPad refresh as well? I might die here, bro. Got gas inbound. Oh. <laughs> Is it what? Yeah, last is on you, bro. It's the last, last oh, one. Bro, that guy just like, snaked the shit out of me. <laughs> I, just, I just knifed the guy that, on my guy as well. Yeah, that was a juicy game, bro. I like that.